It's day 24 of the quarantine. How is everybody doing? Excellent. Welcome everybody. It is April, Monday, April 27th. Well, I was just hoping that everybody had a great weekend. Uh, it was beautiful, beautiful weather. And so I hope that you got out. I hope that you were at the riverside or went for bike rides. So we'll start out with the verse of the day. Madeline found this verse this morning. It is from Proverbs 4:27. It says, do not swerve to the right or to the left, but keep your foot from evil. And that is really alluding to this whole idea that we are on a path and that we should try and stay in straight and narrow path and not go to the right or the left, but always make those right decisions. And so that's our verse for today. Something we can think about throughout the rest of the day before we see each other tomorrow. Um, speaking of this week, there's lots of things due at the end of the week. We have our umbrella challenge. For art. Uh, the Umbrella Challenge, Mrs. Hosick gave us the challenge of using umbrellas and either taking photographs or doing artwork with I'm just umbrellas. I'm going to take some time to show you some of the pictures that uh, they've sent us. Umbrella that was made and made like 3D, it looks like. It looks like different colors and different pictures, which was beautiful. We have a uh, Umbrella picture done with markers, and I love how the rain has stopped underneath the umbrella. And we have this beautiful photograph of a room full of umbrellas, and that looks really nice. So those are just some of the umbrella projects that have been handed into Mrs. Hosick so far, so I'm excited to see what you guys are doing and what you guys will be handing in to, uh, to Mrs. Hosick for our umbrella project. We also have our media challenge, which is continuing this week. Now, after I showed our uh, media challenge videos that I've gotten so far last week, I had four more families send in their media challenge, I am a promise videos. Eamon, I'm really waiting for your video. I can't wait to get it. Uh, and uh, actually, I've been excited uh, to receive, most of the videos are really cool and really fun. And so I'm hoping that I do get videos from everyone and be creative, be fun, be funny, and have fun doing it. Uh, Shiraz, I'm going to unmute you. How did you end up celebrating your birthday? Actually, it went uh, much better than I thought. Well, we kind of just put it on one day. Oh. And you know what? It's probably the best one I've had yet, right? At my, we, we kind of went to our uh, cousin's house. It's just like, um, you know, like a two-minute drive. Yep. We have this small pool, so we kind of had to like, swim in, in their pool for three hours. Um, we got, I got to, got to wear this cool, like, uh, like Hawaii. Where that that was my birthday. So, you know, we had a barbecue. We played this uh, like kind of bingo style game. It was called Housey. It was great. Yeah. I'm really glad. Uh, that's that's fantastic, Shiraz. I'm really glad that you had a good birthday. Even in this COVID-19, it's so different because everything has to look really different when we are doing our birthdays or our special events. And so I know that uh, a lot of people have had to make changes. But I'm glad you had an. You said it was even the best one that you've ever had. So that is fantastic news. All right, so I have received a report on Thursday for our reports from home. Uh, we received one from the Hosick family and we also received one from the Burke family. So I'm excited to share those with you on Thursday. I have also um, a keep your head up report happening tomorrow that I'm working on from Mr. Hosick. And if you guys, anyone else had a report that they wanted to share of good things that are happening in our community, then definitely send those to me. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I found it over the weekend that the Y, the YMCA, has free workout videos on their YouTube channel. Yes, that's right, Ben, YMCA. And they have done some workout videos, so that's really wonderful that they're sharing those things for free. So if you're looking for a workout or something, go ahead and click on that YouTube channel. And I'm also thrilled to see so many thank you signs pop up. Wellington House in our, in our little town of Prescott made a beautiful thank you sign to the town of Prescott for their support. And just this past week, uh, Mayfield, which is almost right beside me, which is another retirement home that we go to and sing at, they were um, mentioned for their hard work and dedication in the newspaper. So it's always nice to see these positive messages going out and I'm really glad that I 
that I live in a community that wants to constantly focus on the positive. Uh, I know Brockville's the same, very, very positive communities. And so we should be thankful that we're a part of them. All right, everyone, let's stand and sing our national anthem. Protect us, keep us safe. As worries happen, find a way to wrap us in your peace and calm and keep our loved ones safe from harm. God, protect our nans and pops, those whose health is poor, and stop the virus from its spread and spoil, and heal those quick in pain and toil. Cover those who work front line, the doctors, cashiers, restaurant kind who show up every day to give their safety up so we can live. We ask you, Lord, to give wisdom pure to those working to find a cure. For treatment, vaccines, and the like, keep them strong and in the fight. We know, dear Lord, you are in charge. You take our burdens, small and large. With you, we have nothing to fear. And in this truth, we end this prayer. Amen. All right, everybody. So don't forget to hand in those media challenges, those umbrella art challenges, and also to uh, reach out if you have some good news that you want sh us to share on Tuesdays. Get lots done. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful week.